Alrighty, Roo, and Cuckoo Kachu to you, and all my nobody's not watching out there. I'm back to saying what sort of issue he has for me, whatever. I'm trying to annoy him. I'm confident it's gonna, he's gonna earn a reverse card this, and it's gonna be a problem for me. So let's just see how that goes. Grab your stuff and get in my car. Now. Yep. Seems like, yep. Alright. His tone leaves no room for doubt. Something bad has happened. Yay! You wanted something to happen! Nope, he's not gonna turn you into a pumpkin or anything like that. We're not... Can you even imagine how fucking horrifying that would be to be like a mouse or something and be turned into a person and back into a mouse or into a pumpkin or a horse? Just like, that's... It ain't natural. No, it's, it's not natural. I want to ask why, but whatever he has, it, I will simply ignore all the dumb shit you say mode. I, I, I know better than ask. It's like, just get your shit, hop in the car. You, you, there's, there's precious little time. It'll explain on the way as much as you need and can know. Instead, I silently follow him to the exit. He guides me to his car. I just hope I haven't messed anything up. Again, I don't think I have, but have I? That is, that is, that is fair. That's solid. I don't think this is how he would do it if you would mess things up. I think you might get lucky enough out of maybe some modicum of respect that he has for you working with you this time. Or maybe he would just want to, like, berate you and explain it before he does it just because he wants you to feel bad. But you, if he was going to final death you or do something real bad, then that's just all that's going to happen. You probably wouldn't know it until it's too late. He needs your help. I don't think you did it. Kadir's car, as usual, he gave me the back seat. He's always uneasy when the passenger seat is taken. Doesn't want anybody to limit his peripheral vision, he says. That's fair. I guess. It does. No, 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 that actually, that, from his perspective, that actually does make a lot of sense, because it, if somebody's in the way, or they're talking, or they do something, you, you could totally get T-boned from that side, and it would be a lot e yeah, that actually, that's actually kind of smart, plus he usually has you know, people who are important, and he's used to sort of just valeting, chauffeuring, whatever, it's not valeting, is doing the chauffeur thing and at this point it's not a matter of status it's like it's just easier normally I'd catch him observing me in the rear view mirror but this time he's watching the streets more tense than usual something must have caught him off guard that's not good I've got my seatbelt on and my popcorn ready what's up that's I hope you actually do have your seatbelt on, and I think it's probably better if you don't have popcorn. He will lo you will lose a lot of his trust. The awkward silence feels like it will last forever. Eventually, he finds the right words and speaks up. Oh, wow. I'm concerned. Six weeks ago, the prince told me to parlay with the Anarchs in the docks. Remember? Yeah, and you made me tag along so that I could learn something about the politics. As it turned out, politics meant something awfully similar to watching my drunken family shout at each other at a wedding party. Like how it was a wedding party. Not like, not, not like Christmas or fucking like Thanksgiving, but a wedding party. That's, that's fun. There was this man who didn't need to shout to make my blood boil. The meanest one in the room. Their leader. White hair, a monocle, musty clothes. Oh yeah, that one guy from the other thing. It's that one fucking guy that I was not a fan of. Like, I don't know if I should say anything about... Th I feel like there's no way I can get through this without spoilers for the last one. So, I guess... If you, there's nobody watching, and I'm just saying this, just on the off chance that someday that changes. Go watch the other one if you don't want spoilers, because I've tried, I think I tried to avoid spoilers up to this point. 
but I don't think I'm going to be able to because the storyline won't let me. And that, so I'm just saying, this is, that's, this is your chance to go watch how frustrated and much I don't like, didn't enjoy that game and tried to and just instead made fun of it a lot for the most part and then left a rather scathing critique on it that after I listened to later felt a little bad about. I was like, dude, that was, that was pretty savage. That was, that was, that was harsh, dude. It's like, look. I don't feel like I lied. I just feel like that was that was. You didn't have to be that. Like that was that was that was not mean spirited, but it's just like frustrated in honesty. And then like yeah, no, you're saying things that that's not polite society at all. Um. Anyway, yeah. Boss Callahan with this fucking I don't. Okay, I know I don't feel bad about saying the F word. I feel like saying that might be a slur. I, 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 it, it's a term for a person who is that, that, I don't know, I feel like the way it's spelt is a slur. Also, I'm not particularly fond of the C word, so I'm not going to say that either. Less about censorship and more about Nah, fam, I, that's, that's not a word I use. Because it's like, it doesn't even matter if it applies, it's like, I'm surprised when a woman says that about another woman. If, it's like, Irish and Scottish people, they can say that because that's more part of their, their, their lexicon of, of, they, they'll say that's a, fucking call a coffee maker one. But I don't do that, so no. Um. Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, I'm gonna forget. It's a lot of panache, old Tommy bravado, gendered insults flung my way. You know, it's like what you would expect from fucking the Quaker Oats guy who, you know, wanted to be the Monopoly guy. Although I know it's a Mandela effect that the Monopoly guy never had a monocle. It's like, yes, he did. We just Mandela effect into different universes where this one doesn't have that. It's fucking weird that there's so many examples of that. You must be the Monopoly. Then we're moving on. What was his name? Something British. Made me think of Hollywood. Callahan? Was there a Callahan in something else? In one of the other things? In, in VTMB? Baron Callahan. Douglas Bus Callahan. Right, it's 2020, but the man's opinions and ideas were stuck in 1920. Weren't the Anarchs supposed to be, like, the progressive option? Never understood why they put up with him. I mean, the Roaring Twenties, you know, we got this... It's, well, they're less roaring here. We got a lot of the same shit going on, but whatever. He has this way of predicting which way the wind will blow. Anytime Camarilla or the... SI hit the wait what SI hit hit the Anarchs oh second Inquisition hit the uh, Anarchs it, it was the factions opposed to him that were hurt luckiest ba yeah luck luckiest bastard in all the world now he just feeds them shit and says hey you know it's fucking old school gangster tactic he's been doing it all the way thought you didn't believe in luck I don't but it sure looks like his luck has finally run out tonight oh so are we on a assassin run cuz hey I don't feel like you need me for that I, I mean I thought you were a, a, a Banu Hakim but uh, now nah, you're a Toreador but that doesn't mean that you couldn't be an effective assassin You're pretty good at what you do, and what you do isn't very nice, and I don't want it done to me, so. Other than what you do is also drive and just kind of, you know, run things, but like, you kill people. Huh. <laughs> just, that's it, just. So are we like gonna go kill some political leader? Wait, don't tell me. We're gonna kill him? He's dead? 
Anarchs got rid of him. I'm gonna go with the Anarchs got rid of him. I'm gonna try to play all innocent like. Anarchs got rid of him? An evil grin. Oh, that would be scary coming from him. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know the specifics, but I do know he's gone. I feel like I should have said something else now because I, I might have got a better answer out of him. Especially with the evil grin thing. Oh, wow. Gone as in he's dead? Deader than dead? Like, we're dead, but he's like final death, death, dead? 99% sure the, the bastard met his final death. So you didn't do it. Or you're trying to claim that 1%. But you have contacts or intel. But that I don't trust because if you didn't do it yourself, then, you know, I don't know that it's like you're not just being played. The vampires, you see, they're very wily. How do you know? We've got trustworthy sources in the Anarch inner circles. Looks like all hell's about to break loose. There's an emergency meeting at the art hall. So it's already done, or it's going to, or it did happen, but now all hell's gonna break loose because the power vacuum created. Jesus, and you're bringing me with you? Why? <laughs> it's just like this, like, so you took me out of my boring little corner where I was just having coffee and wanting something interesting to happen? For what? Like, why? Because you were on the way. Because I could. Because I should. I don't... I mean, that's a hard thing to argue against. But it sort of means you sort of respect me. Or you need somebody as backup. Or you need some... An adequate meat shield. <laughs> you need somebody to get in the way and fuck up politically. I don't know. Social meat shield. Uh, you might not be important to the members of the court, but you're still an asset to the sect. Symbolically, at least, I can justify sneaking you into the party and claiming it's for your own protection. All right. I mean, what? What? What am I gonna do if, if uh, you know? Shit hits the fan, a bunch of anarchs just mad at Camarilla happen to come into Big Beat Burger or whatever the fuck it's called and want to just 86 my ass, you know? Who knows? My sweet fairy godmother in a luxury carriage. <sighs> Wait a minute, though. The party is still happening? It's like, now we have a reason to celebrate! Cheers to the dead guy who just sucks! He's just really the worst. He was just the worst. I called the prince, told her the best course of action is stopping it, and started listing the security protocols I have prepared for these sorts of situations. And let me guess, the prince was like, we're not gonna change shit right now because that will start a panic. She interrupted me halfway through and told me we will discuss the subject face to face. Doesn't sound like she was interested. The party is that important, huh? I mean, I don't know. Just because I'm not there doesn't mean it's important or not. Politics. Politics. Is that important? I don't know if he's trying to convince me or himself. Yeah, no. I feel like he's like slightly concerned walking into a trap. Slightly concerned bad shit's gonna happen there because I'm not being listened to as a sheriff. I feel like it makes sense to have somebody who I think will help me out, you know? Once again, politics sounds an awful lot like a bunch of party-loving assholes shouting at each other. Woo! Spring break! Just kidding, that's, that's dumb. That doesn't even make sense here. Don't worry, this isn't the kind of how, uh, should I call it, governing issue 
the likes of you and I tend to deal with. I didn't think it was. And how would you describe the governing issue we tend to deal with? I mean, for my part, I'm basically a pencil pusher for the lower tier, and I kind of say it. I'm basically a glorified customs agent. Do you have any bananas in that bag, sir? Show me the bananas! <laughs> Please, I don't want to see the bananas. It's just fruit or, you know, why are you here? Alright, cool. That's basically all I do. He kills people. <laughs> Shoveling ourselves out, ourselves out of shit. As usual, he seems a little embarrassed for cussing. For being too honest. Either way, it's cute. Aw, oh, look at you. Being all honest and like, oh. I should just be in the back and just be like, language. And just, he's like, all right, I'm going to flip the car now. <laughs> it just flips the car. <laughs> like, just like, literally like, drives into oncoming traffic. Flips it over. And then just like, uses celerity to walk away and watch. <laughs> just like, no argument here. That's where this conversation ends, and we stay silent as the car rides off towards the unknown. Boss Callahan. I'm not a New York City Baron. The Baron of New York City, if you please. I'm gonna end this one just because I feel like it's gonna go on for a moment before I can pause. But it's like... Look, I'm not... Uh, I, 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 I like... I love the English language because of vocabulary. I'm not super great at grammar or spelling or really a lot of the other parts that have to do with English <laughs> as, as, a, as like a language. Um, I just like that there's so many words and they're interesting and I think that's cool. Plus we're just like, that word, I like that. Yoinks! And it just sort of builds up and la 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 la. Although there's a lot of bullshit that's real frustrating, and I think it's super lame in some ways. Um, but for I don't know the difference here of significance is a New York City Baron or the Baron of is like basically saying the instead of a. There's you know, it's it, it sort of elevates him in position, saying a means he's just one of many you know like oh well good for you or whatever you're just like you'll be replaced next week he's saying I'm the guy it's been me it's gonna be me it was me yesterday it's me today it'll be me tomorrow basically as opposed to I mean barons and stuff like that princes barons they, they come and they go sometimes it's hard it's a hard knock life but I'm gonna pause it cause yeah I feel like this is going to go on for a moment. <laughs>